Around this time every year, mostly because that's when I started doing it, I, I do this thing I call soul searching. It's where I line up all of the things that I do, writing obligations, video stuff, work, home life, everything. And I just start charting it out. And I think about how much time that takes, how much time I put into it versus how much time I think it should take. Right? Because I've had a year to sort of see what I have time for and what I don't. And that's ultimately the purpose, is deciding what I want to put more energy into and deciding what I should let go of. Because there are 10 million cool things I want to do, and I only got time for like eight of them. And I keep all the things I left behind on a list. You know, I, I haven't let go of these in my heart. I have just gone, look, I really want to do this. I don't have time. I can't parcel out enough time for it. But if time becomes available, or if I find myself with some free moments, this is one of the things we're gonna do. I find it really useful as an exercise in being honest with myself. I have a desire to do all the things, but doing all of the things and trying to do all of the things is exactly the kind of thing that gets nothing done. So I need to pick, and I need to be careful, and I need to actually look at how that affects my time. And that includes things like my free time. Like, it needs to account for grocery shopping and cleaning my house. And also just acknowledging that probably for like an, at least one night a week, I just want to dick around and play video games. As opposed to the dicking around and playing video games that we do on Sundays. The inspiration for it hit me, uh, there's a Chris Hardwick tweet. I'll try and dig it up, but it's 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 really not that interesting as a, as a tweet, but it was just somebody, somebody asked him how he does all these things. And he's like, I have seven jobs and it's worthwhile for me to think about all these things I wanna do as jobs because they take work, right? Volunteering takes work, making videos takes work. And not just the work of like being on camera, but like the hour or two after. So I look through and I pick. I pick what to keep, I pick what to leave behind, and I pick how that affects my day. So one of the things that came out of last year's was I didn't have enough time to write blog posts. I was like, oh, I'll spend three, four hours on Sunday just writing. And after a couple of weeks, I was like, this, this is not working. It, it puts too much pressure on one day. Never just write one day a week. It's not good practice. But the only place that I had time was either late at night before I go to bed or early in the morning. So I was like, well, how bad do I want to do this? Do I want to do this so bad that I'm going to get up at five instead of six and write for an hour and then go to the gym? Because if I try and do it late at night, I'll just make excuses and play video games. Soul searching is an exercise in knowing myself. Uh, I'll post my framework for it in the show notes. I find it really useful. I only do it once a year. It's not a constant worry, but it helps me make room for new opportunities. It helps me get rid of stuff that maybe I'm not as into, uh, or maybe that's run its course. And it helps me think about my, my everyday time. Rather than having a list of unfulfilled things that I'm like, oh, I'll get to this someday. I'm like, as it stands, I'm not gonna get to this. So I don't have to think about it anymore until a spot opens up and I take it off that list. I have no space in my life for things that I'm gonna get to someday. Too busy, staying awesome. You too.